It struck me as absurd, he said, that one could amass crippling debt as a result of not drug addiction or reckless borrowing and spending, but going to college. Now, anybody else... So did he actually apply for those college loans, or did they just happen to him accidentally? I think he got mugged by Sally Mae. Oh, okay. And she stuffed Those all that forced onto him. It was predatory lenders. Yes. <laughs> By the way, uh, I, he doesn't you know, have a gun. He couldn't fight off the predators. I get it. I know. I know this is going to be heartbreaking to him, but that actually is reckless borrowing and spending. Yeah. Yes, that's exactly what Kevin Williamson talks about. It is that what comes with an Ivy League education and two master's degrees or whatever he has and all of this ability to do these things rather than work a job, say, like T.S. Eliot had to do until his 40s in order to, to make a, a living and support himself by writing. This guy has a completely backward attitude. And not only that, but... If he's up there as the poster child for people borrowing money for education, look at how harsh that is to people who go to school maybe to be a nurse or to to become uh, you know a computer programmer or somebody who wants to take a tra you know education and training, not necessarily a degree but certification in a trade or something. You know, I'm I'm a teacher, and so this sounds kind of funny coming from a teacher. Uh, but I had a friend who was going back for not a first, not a second, but a third master's degree and has never held a job in his life. And I was trying to figure out, okay, but what do you want to do with it? And he kind of shrugged his shoulders and I say, you know, what's the point? Well, I got to tell you that Sonny Bunch from the Washington Free Beacon calls uh, Siegel a sociopath. For, for being like this. I thought it was... Well, that's kind that of was, true. I mean, there's no conscience that's really displayed there. Right. And But look at the sneering or tone. The sneering tone he uses here. Maybe I should have stayed at a store called The Wild Pear, where at once I had a nice, stable job selling shoes after dropping out of the state college because I thought I deserved better and naively tried to turn myself into a professional reader and writer on my own, on my own own without a college degree I'd probably be district manager by now how insulting to people who get up and do real jobs every yeah. day that's disgusting to me it is so condescending and that back when I was talking you know when, when we introduced the, the subject I, I wanted to I was saying that there's an authenticity aspect to this uh, discussion and that authenticity aspect that I was talking talking about and Chris touched on it, is that there are lots of people who have student loans. There are lots of people who have crippling student loans. There are not so many people who have crippling student loans because they decided to get three degrees from an Ivy League college and, uh, you know, just decide one day, oh, no, I'm not going to pay those loans because, you know what, society owes it to me. They owe it to me because I'm such a great writer that... I really don't need to pay my debts because I'm just me being alive is it, it pays it back all by itself because I'm I'm this is just great gift to society. It is an elitist message. It is a message that does not I think resonate with the vast majority of people who are suffering under crushing student loans because they actually do want to try and work through college. They actually do want to try and decrease their student loans and try and pay back their student loans. And you have this guy who is sneering at you for being a manager of a store and has the nerve to not be paying, to add to the, to the overall pile of debt that's probably impacting your debt. It's, it's probably uh, making your payments worse uh, by, by not paying his debt, and he can afford to pay his debt. Yeah, I, I, you know, to me, I think this is an inauthentic post from an inauthentic source, and it's something that people will rebel against. People will not like. I know certainly my millennial friends who have student debt would not be happy to hear this at all. They would not be allied with this guy because they have some compunction. And, and the fact that this is on Slate, I mean, that's huge. And and the way that Slate talked about it, I think, is very re uh, reflective of the way that millennials in general would react to the story. Maybe that's just me, but 
I think that that's the case. JD, he's advising his fellow citizens to rob from his fellow citizens. And the people that he wants them to rob from are the people who work for a living and pay taxes. You know, the scum, like us, okay? The ones he looks down on. That's ridiculous. He's disgusting. Hillary Clinton had a women-only fundraiser, or she would have had a women only fundraiser, but there was not enough interest, so she had to open it up to men as well. So, yeah. Gosh, she's just 